All right, girls, let's do our circle again, and then parents along the side, coaches uh, over here with me, coaches. All right, we got the coaches. All right, so how many of you guys are new this year? Welcome, welcome. How many of you guys are moving up from the junior high team to the high school team? One, two, three, that's awesome, welcome, welcome. All right, so my name is Chris Sacco. Last year I went by Crystal. Uh, this year I am Chris and I'm going by all male pronouns. The point with football again, we're, we're being our true authentic selves anyway by paving the way. You guys are breaking gender barriers just by stepping on that field as women, playing a sport that was known as uh, all men's sport. Not anymore. All right, everybody in. One, two, three. Go I know we're gonna win some games this year. We're going to take this team and go far with it. And people are going to underestimate us because we're kind of the underdog team. Currently, I'm thinking we're first in the league right now, but what the papers are saying, we're last. I wanna see us win our first game. Not like last year, we didn't win any game. It was rough, but we learned from all of it, and I think we're gonna come back so strong this year. If you're new and you don't know, <laughs> just kinda go with the flow. I brought on a couple new coaches, and we're gonna just come up with a better plan. All right, so go ahead and introduce yourself, Coach Renica. I'm happy to be here, I'm happy to help you guys get better and better. <laughs> to come in and to coach a team that's never won, every loss is a learning experience. And if you learn something from it, you're not really losing. Let's go, Alyssa, get it up, get it up, get it up. Come on, run out, run out, run out. Eyes up, eyes up, eyes up, eyes up. My mom plays, she's played for the Utah Falcons for over six years now. So since she was playing, she was like, hey, I should get my daughter to join in this league. My dad left a couple years ago, so me and my mom have gotten closer. The field helps me clear my mind. For football, it's always been like an outlet for me to just feel free. Really just as a female, as a girl, as a woman in this game that's dominantly played by men, I just want them to take from this that they can overcome anything and become anything that they want to be. I started in women's football because I wanted to challenge myself. Other women and other girls are out there watching you. You guys are beautiful, strong. You guys are the role models for our future youth. All the way down. Go! Go, go, go! All the way through, all the way through. A lot of my team, they've gone through some hardships. I have some girls that felt like they couldn't play any other sport because of their weight. I've always struggled really bad with depression and anxiety, like super bad insecurities with like my body and my weight. I've always loved sports, but everything just felt like, oh, I can't do that. My weight makes me too slow. I'd never even thought about playing football. It never crossed my mind. And I remember like going to practice and I look around and there's girls who are like similar sizes to me. I was like, oh, you actually like, aren't gonna tell me that I need to like cut a few pounds or anything. You want me to be like this, basically. After that first week of practice, I like went home and I just remember like crying to my mom. And she was like, you don't, do you not like playing? And I was like, no, it's, I feel like I found something that I feel like good about, something that can give me more confidence in myself, somewhere where I'm useful, like I belong here. Let me see your hands, Haley. Uh-oh. So this is a big no-no. What, what is it that's on? Nails. I will bring the clippers and I will clip them off. Go, set, hit. Nice. Work, work, work. Get here. I have felt that I would never be able to play football because I'm a girl. But then this opportunity came for girls tackle football. And I was like, Dad, Mom, please let me play this. Please. You know how much I want to play football. And they're like, OK, we'll sign you up. The feeling that you get when you're on that field, saying down, set, focus on just one thing, focus on just one target, focus on one play. And then you say hut and everything moves. Everybody moves, the ball moves, the play moves, the coaches are excited, the fans, the rush, the adrenaline. It just feels amazing because you can escape from anything that's going on that might be hurting you.
If you walk through my house, you can just see holes in the wall everywhere. Cause like my brothers and my dad just tend to punch the wall when they're angry and they have anger issues. So it's kind of a rough subject, but I've always grown up in like a household of addiction. We still love each other and we <laughs> The way that I get my emotions out is playing football. Being able to go to football and erase everything that you've seen that day, it's just a fresh start. Being able to hit someone is getting that anger and that emotion out that you can't tell anyone. I'm working really hard to make a life better for me and my family, and I'm trying to make the world better around me. Some of the girls never thought they were good at anything and they never would ever amount to anything. They, there might be stuff going on at home that they don't want to talk about and they can channel that energy through football. We've had some girls that wanted to play sports but never could because they couldn't afford it. Where they have to have jobs and go to school. They're actually paying rent for their parents. So what I do is I'm like, we're gonna find a way. I don't care if we have to set up fundraisers. I don't, I don't care. I'll find the money, I'll pay for it myself. I'll do whatever it takes. Nice. No, I don't want to, you gotta do it. When you're ready, one, go, just two, go, three, just go. go. Oh, well, well. Okay. I've taken testosterone for a little bit over a year now. I was gonna shave like before the season, but I'm like, no, I don't need to look a certain way. I can just be me. This picture was five years ago. This was before, obviously, way before I came out. It was very hard. Being in the public eye, as a co-founder of the Football League, it was very scary for me to come out. Coach Chris is awesome. We connect for some reasons, like how we look and how we feel. Chris has always been so nice and so positive about everything. She's always there, or he's always there. It's just amazing that he can finally be who he really is and have everyone treat him with respect for who he really is and not have to hide. He made it capable that I could play football. If Coach Chris wasn't here, I wouldn't be playing football. It's like Can you? Double, 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 double. So we both play that. Break. Break. Hustle. Ready to get it. Thank you, Jasmine. So, how long does it take you to saw a Ruby's cube? A minute and 20 seconds or less. I can do patterns with it and stuff, so. So, it's like checkerboard. My brain is kind of wired differently than most people, so. Sometimes I don't know how to explain stuff or put things in words. My biological mother. Um, when I was about seven-ish or eight-ish, lost custody of me and my older brother. I don't know why exactly, but I want to say it was due to drugs. We were the first women couple to become foster parents in the state of Utah. When you adopt children through foster care, they do have a lot of trauma, um, especially the older kids. I've had some anger problems, and I've been taking it out on the wrong people, and. Um, I've like been dealing with like depression and anxiety and PTSD. For Riley, playing tackle football has really given her an outlet to work out her aggression that she's holding on to. I've made a lot of friends and it's made me build self-confidence and my self-esteem. I'm out there screaming my head off and, and walking up and down the field with the with the coach. It feels a lot better just knowing that they're my parents and they're gonna be there for sure no matter what. Coaches talk. Players listen. Coaches talk. Players listen. From the beginning to now, have you guys learned a lot? Do you feel you've gotten any better? Yes? One game at a time. Okay, we're heading to the championship. I feel like these girls are, they're making history for youth football. They're going to be the first to pave the way for that. Other states are going to do it. And one day it'll be in the colleges. And then the next 
goal. This is where I get a little emotional, but one of the main reasons why I'm doing this is because I, I would love to see these girls go to the NFL for women. This is something I'm gonna talk about for the rest of my life. It's gonna be like a part of me for like forever. We all have different backgrounds, different stories, but when we get on the field together, we're all the same. We want to play football, we want to do big things and make this history. Even though they come from all different backgrounds, they might not even be friends at school, but as soon as they're on that field, they have each other's back. More than just a team, we're a family, and we're there for each other. I mean, I have my friends and family, but even when I have drama with them, I have my football team to go back to. We all come from backgrounds that are rough, and we all understand that we are capable of doing anything and we're gonna do anything to get it done. When someone gets that first touchdown, it's gonna be amazing because all those losses we took has paid off for something. It's a new year, new us. The underdog teams can actually go to championship games and win. I know at the end of the season, we're gonna be number one.